This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So in the previous sessions, we were working on this transaction ID search. Okay. We created a data page of type structure page and the source is a report definition, right? And the data was coming, but we were not able to display it on the UI. And I told you once I teach you data transforms, you will complete this requirement. So today we are going to complete it. Remember that if you're working with a data page of type page, okay, and the source is a report definition, this response data transform is mandatory. Whereas if it's of type list, response DT is optional, okay? Now when it's of type page and the source is a report definition, okay? If you click, give any name here and click on open and click on create, you will see by default some lines of code will be auto generated by Pega. And the most important thing that you see here is data source.px results. What exactly is this? This is the page on which the output of report definition is going to be kept. Output of report definition is going to be kept on this page. So now it is your responsibility whether you want to copy this data into PY work page or this data page or some other page. Where do you want to copy the data? You write down your logic in the response data transform. So as of now, using this data page and report definition combination, I was able to get the data till data source.px results. Now it's my responsibility to copy to PY work page so that I can display the data here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is whatever steps I require, I'll keep it. Whatever I don't require, I'm going to remove it. So let's say I don't require step two. So now you see these all steps are disabled, okay? If you say they are grayed out, right? Grayed out means disabled. So if you say right click, you can say disable enable option. Like this, you can enable it, okay? And whatever you don't need, you can just remove it. I'm just removing this one. And I'm going to write a piece of code here to copy my data to PY work page. So I told you, right, I'm going to teach you how to use PY work page, append to, append and map to, and all those things. So first we are learning how to loop on for each page in, okay? So I'm looping on this PX results or the data that I got from the report definition. And I want to set the output to PY work page. So for each page means as many results as I got. Here you will get only one single record of data because you are searching based on transaction ID. Transaction ID is a primary key in that table. So you will get only one single record of data. So PY work page. First I would like to declare it in page classes. It belongs to the case type class, right? PY work page always belongs to your case type class. PY work page dot. What all would you like to display here? Except transaction ID, the rest all I would like to display. Card, account, transaction amount and transaction date. Card number. Account number. Transaction amount. Transaction date. Now you said also use each page as source context means PX results of one. From that the data will come. PX results of two. From that the data will come here. So on the right hand side, you are getting data from this source. So whatever is present in PX results of one, that card number, you see data class, okay? That card number, that account number, that transaction amount, that class transaction date, I'm copying. Okay. Copied data to work page. Okay. 
So once again, in the last sessions, we have created a data page in combination with the report definition, but the data was not coming on the UI. The reason was the data is not present on PY work page. If the data is present on PY work page, it would have automatically displayed here. It was not displaying. So what did I do now? I created a response data transform in that I know that output of the report definition is lying on this page data source dot px results and I am 100% sure that only one record of data will come because transaction ID is unique only one record of data will come so I am copying that data into py work page now you call this data transform anywhere okay data page anywhere such that okay upon hitting the search button I this data should display here so upon hitting search button Please call this data page. If you call this data page, automatically report definition will fetch the data and response DT will copy the data into PY work page and automatically the data will display here because the data is available on PY work page. Now I have to write down some piece of code to call my okay, data page on this search button. So come here. Go to actions on click you always have refresh In refresh you can either call activity or data transform. Can I directly call my data transform here? No, 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 no. First this data page has to be triggered. It should fetch the data using report definition. Then you call the data transform to copy the data to PY work page. So what should I do now? I should either call it data transform or an activity only. I can't directly call it data page. Right, but what I can do is can I call this data page in a data transform or activity? Yes, so if you do like that, you can happily trigger it from the on click action. So I'm going to write down an activity here, I will call it as fetch info using data page i'm going to create an activity like this inside the activity i'll call data page data page will call report definition and response duty will set the output of report definition to py work page so i'm calling just an activity here and the purpose of this activity is only to call my d page no other purpose what is the name of my d page the data page here copy paste please don't type if you type and you make mistakes it will not work it's important to mention this in pages and classes as well and this belongs to this class That's it. This is how you call a D page in the activity. Just give it as a step page or just give it as a property set, right hand side value. So we always think that data pages are already existing on the clipboard and we write the code. There is no concept of calling a data page. Okay. So we assume that it is already there in the clipboard and we just refer it. Okay. So by giving it as a step page, I'm referring to it. So what will Pega do? It will go and check whether this D page is existing on the clipboard or not. If it is existing, well and good. If it is not existing, they will call the source, which is a report definition and they will get the data. Then this will be triggered to copy the data to PY work page and then happily I can display the data on the UI. So on click of button, I'm calling this activity. What is this activity doing? just referring to the D page. If the D page is existing, they will display the data. If it is not existing, they will call the report definition followed by the data transform and they will get the data on PY work page and automatically data from PY work page will display here. Now let's see whether it is working or not. Create Search by transaction ID. Turn on the tracer just to debug if there's any issues. Search. 
you can see i got the output why is the account number coming by default in the previous session i have set the account number in the data transform please remove it otherwise uh, you know it will not come you can see it's coming in the tracer if you see you can see this is your data page or oh, not this one sorry fetch transactions by tran id okay and this is the source page which is containing the output data source.px results okay it is copying the data to py work page see data source.px results is not a static name okay you can see the data source means py data source 3167552 a big number is coming right every time this page will keep changing so when you say data source whatever is the it's like a keyword when i say primary it will take the context of the primary page from which you are triggered right similarly data source is like a keyword on whichever page you are having the data that will become data source here you can see some random number gets generated every time like this okay so don't look on the clipboard for a page called as data source it will not exist at run time pega will generate some random page like this and keep data on it from that i am looping and i am copying it to py work page so data source is a keyword output of that report definition comes onto some page and that page i am referring using a keyword called as data source okay and that page name actual page name will be like this some random number will get generated and on that the data will be present okay so what did we do on click of search button i am calling an activity activity is triggering the data page data page will call the report definition and get the data onto some page we don't know the name of the page so in order to copy from that page to py work page i wrote looping and i'm copying it like this 